We had a dishwasher who was without a doubt right. on that's the vessel. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> he came in and went to the bathroom for 40 minutes with his backpack, and then the bathroom smelled like burnt tinfoil. <laughs> and I was like, why does the bathroom smell like burnt tinfoil and, and, and methamphetamine? And he was like, whatever, bro. Dude. I just got here. My name is Kevin Pamoulier. I'm the chef and owner of 30 Acres Restaurant in Jersey City. I own the restaurant with my wife, Alex. We've been here for three years. 30 Acres is a small 32-seat seasonal American restaurant. Currently, we're doing a tasting menu and we have an a la carte bar menu and everything changes regularly. <laughs> These are called Tisbury oysters from Massachusetts. They're big and gnarly. My wife and I moved out to uh, Jersey City in 2010. We just really sort of fell in love with the downtown area. It seemed like it would be fun to kind of try to be a part of a new wave out here. So this is a tortellini stuffed with uh, stinging nettles and ricotta cheese. And we're, this is a dish we're currently serving on our tasting menu. For the first you know, almost three years of our existence, we were an a la carte menu, really small menu, never got to be more than like 12 items at a time. But the idea was really just to offer a more complete dining experience and to really give better service. We have a real skeleton crew, but they're, it's, it works. Our sous chef, uh, John Vidiello, has been here about a year now. He's been just a really tremendous asset to me. I, I couldn't have asked for a better, a better guy to have on my side. Alan Ventura, he's the longest standing employee that we have here. He's a, you know, grew up in, in Jersey City, never worked in a restaurant, started as a dishwasher, went from dishwasher to prep cook, line cook, and I honestly feel like he's a member of my family at this point. So we headed out here and headed over to uh, Mod Cup Coffee. <laughs> All right. I got short legs, so. Off, <laughs> All right. off to Mod Cup. Yeah. I don't really know that much about Mod Cup. I could have asked Mod, Mod Cup. Cup. Mod <laughs> Cup is very good coffee. They make great roasts. They roast Monday and Friday. And it's, everything's just fantastic. They do very different style roasts. Um, just, just about everything they do is just the tops. It's really great. <laughs> it's really <laughs> great. Just really great, 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 great really coffee. Good. We got over there, met up with Travis and Justin. Hey. Those guys had uh, coffee drinks ready to go for us. All right, so we are officially closed, which means we can serve booze. Uh -huh. Five Cup Coffee is a local coffee roaster. These guys are really doing a great job. Ladies first. Mod fashion for you. They're making, I think, coffee Manhattans. They had a, a nice orange bitters too that they're using too, but it's it was. It tasted of coffee and bourbon, which I think can have a lot of similar qualities to them in some ways. This is 1988 coffee. Highly caffeinated. Well, everything here is highly caffeinated. It's easy to make. Tastes like a beer. Oh, that is delicious. Uh, oh, man. I, w I really want one of those coffee nitro cocktails right now because I feel still pretty terrible, but I really would like to have one. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Awesome to have you guys. Uh, I mean, everything was really fully loaded with caffeine, and it was a good way to get the night going for sure. Yeah, we'll see you. All right. Thanks, Thanks for coming by, man. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. my, my pleasure. Uh, got fully revved up on coffee drinks and cold brew and what have you. And we got in the van and we headed through the Holland Tunnel to Uncle Boone's. Oh my God, I'm so caffeinated. I know. <laughs> Don't air any of the parts about us talking shit. <laughs> no, air them all. I don't about care. anything. Except for We're only Ho joking. Except for Hoboken, because you suck Hoboken. Yeah, <laughs> we're only joking. <laughs> oh my god. God, this is the longest tunnel, right? Holy <laughs> balls, what the fuck is this tunnel? Oh. Oh, there. That's not that's not good for the sound. We're so close. It's so good because I have to pee so bad. Here we are. Spring Street. Uncle Boone's is a Thai restaurant. Ann Redding and, and Matt Danzer, we've come to, to know through doing some events with them. And I mean, it's literally my wife and my favorite restaurant in the city. Just everything they do is just really amazing. They're not necessarily doing 
are trying to be anything other than authentically themselves. No, no, this is, no, this, is this is world famous Danny Bowen. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, when we got there, we met up with Danny Bowen and, and his wife Youngmi. Danny is the chef of Mission Chinese. We started with some sort of, of shot, I, I don't know what it was, but it involved a chaser of a pineapple with some chili salt on it, which was really good. Then we had some beer slushies, really delicious. Oh, That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. And really goes well with our food. A spicy rotisserie chicken and a blossom salad. So they first sent out uh, the chicken and banana blossom salad, which I think is my singular favorite dish I've ever had in my life. This is our banana blossom dressing. Uh, we use our, our house-made chili jam. It's also coconut milk in there until you kind of get that creamy texture. Nice, it's one of those dishes, it's like, you have salty, you have sweet, you have heat, you have, you know, savory. It's, there's a lot of elements going on. It's pretty hot, but it's well balanced. The mouth is on fire. You gotta eat it with the sticky rice. They also sent out probably our second favorite thing, which is a chicken liver masaman curry with pineapple, braised pineapple too. That's also just totally phenomenal. Definitely the best chicken liver dish I've ever had. I had a couple cocktails, I don't even know what I was drinking at the time. What is this one? It's a pine berry cobbler. I thought it should have been So cherry with a little citrus, sugar, and pine berries. And then they just sent out a huge spread, kind of like a mixed grill of sorts with, uh, there's crawfish and, and prawns, and there are sour sauces, so there's bone marrow, grilled baby octopus, it was just a spread of Uncle Boone's grill. So we've got a little head on prawn, we've got our Isan sausage, we've got some grilled octopus. Sometimes we do blowfish tails. Um, and then we'll add the roasted cabbage. Depending on what we have in-house, we'll kind of embellish on that. I can't thank them enough. They just did such a good job as, as we knew they would. Cheers. 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 Yeah, so then the six of us headed back to Jersey City, back through the tunnel. What are we on, Houston Street? <laughs> what is this, Houston and what? They have a Houston in Texas. <laughs> Fuck Kentucky you, Hoboken. <laughs> <laughs> Film no, this. Turn the camera on. Fuck, Fuck Hoboken. No, <laughs> Fuck Hoboken. I'm just like saying how I feel. I'm just saying how I feel. You're yeah. speaking your truth. Yeah. You're being real. I'm saying that Danny Bowen hates Hoboken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We rolled up on Lucky 7s. Lucky's is kind of like a small, I guess, divey bar, but it's just like a good neighborhood bar. I was shocked that it was jamming when we got there, to be honest. It was Sunday night, I thought it was gonna be mild. It was fun to stay, it was fun to pop in. We, at this point, are close enough that we didn't have to get back in the van, so we started walking over. Yeah, we should walk back yeah. and walk past the Hollywood Rye. They had like three or oh, let's four go. restaurants. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's on the way to our restaurant. Gotta stay out of that sun. Gotta stay out of that sun, bro. You know something, sir? What's that? With this polo right, it's good as that, it's tight. Do you sell those? <laughs> I'll sell them to you. Hey, you sound like you sell. You can sell them. You see the same way I see them? <laughs> <laughs> I see the same way. I see drunk right now. Yo, wait. This is it. Yo. The infamous Hollywood fried chicken, Jersey I go, City. I would go, yeah. Alan really likes it. We're talking up the chicken spot, and, and Danny really wanted to check it out. You know, this place is open at like three or four in the morning. I actually don't think they close. I think they may be closed for like a half hour and then they reopen. So we popped in there. Alan took care of all the ordering because he's somewhat of a regular there. So we, we picked up some stuff to go and came here. Can I please carry some of this? No, oh I got it. It's good. It's actually light. This is a lot of bags. This place broke. Very happy that we just got a bunch of Hollywood fried chicken. Yeah, for the garbage truck. Because <laughs> I don't really feel like cooking right now, and neither does John. No, I don't. And uh, Hollywood Fried is going to do it better than we can anyhow, so <laughs> I think we're good. We did have the intent to cook here, which we wound up doing also when we got here, but we lightened the spread a little bit due to the disgusting amount of Hollywood Fried Chicken we brought back. This is the, this is important. This is the Italian cheeseburger from Hollywood Fried. Oh, Alan's the only one that could explain this properly. There we go. Beautiful. An Italian girl has fries, ketchup mayonnaise, and two hamburger patties. 
Alan hyped up this Italian cheeseburger sandwich, which is like, it tastes exactly like school lunch. I don't know what, I still don't know what makes it Italian. I don't know. We are gonna make something. Why, are you totally bummed by that? What? No, we, we will. We, yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna do that as soon as John gets out of the bathroom. Um, no, we're gonna. We're gonna make some fucking chili shrimp pork tacos and. We trim up our pork loins. We have mangalitsa pork on our menu, and we trim up the loins. We brine the meat, and then we cook it in a dried shrimp and chili sauce overnight. And we just threw it all on the plancha, seared it up, and we had previously purchased some uh, corn tortillas. It's just like, you know, rich, fatty, little spicy, and it's just good late, late night food. We serve this with uh, what we call volcano sauce and sesame seeds and ramps and scallions and bullshit, and it's great, and we have so much of it all the time that this is honestly like the perfect thing to throw up right now. Uh, anyway, this is a perfect wrap up, I think, of what we're doing on top of the Hollywood fried chicken. I realized after some of our little Hoboken rants, I have to say, I have a friend, Mark, who has a place called Dozino in Hoboken. It's great, a little pizzeria. And aside from him, I stand behind everything else we said. Yeah.